Zakir Naik is one of the world's renowned Islamic preachers. He has become a television and internet sensation, developing a cult following around the world who regularly tune in to hear his lectures. He presents himself as a student of comparative religion and as somebody who is well versed in the philosophy and doctrines of the other major faiths. But are the many claims he makes about Hindu scriptures really credible? In the next video, we'll be analysing and exposing in detail the fraudulent declarations Dr. Naik has been making for years. Dr. Naik is particularly famed for his remarkable ability to quote and precisely reference passages from the Quran, Hadith, Bible and various Hindu scriptures. This unique talent combined with what appears to be well thought out rational arguments provides a mesmerising and compelling act. Three, a day three, shlokas 10 to 27 talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you read the Kuntab Suktas, Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse number 1 to 14, talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you read Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6, Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7, talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 53, verse number 9, it talks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you read the Psalm Ved, Agni, Mantra 64. This act seeks to do one thing, convince people that the religion of Islam is the one and only supreme truth. So sister, if I say in Arabic, would you like to say the Shahada? Would you like to say the Shahada that is a proclamation in Arabic? The same thing what I mentioned, that there's no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Would you like to say in Arabic? Yes, sir, sure. Okay, fine. So I'll just say in Arabic and repeat it and again I'll give you the translation. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad that Prophet Muhammad is is the messenger the messenger and servant of Allah and messenger and servant of Allah. Mashallah, sister. Thank you. Now, a Muslim. Dr. Naik has spent many of his lectures putting forward the case that Hinduism, as practiced today, is not in accordance with Hindu scriptures, and that in fact the Hindu scriptures themselves actually support and even predict the Islamic revelation. He attempts to cover his assertions by proclaiming that any contradiction between the Quran and Hindu scripture is due to later interpretations. We will analyse and see whether this is true, or is it rather the case that Dr. Naik has deviously taken scripture completely out of context. So whatever matches with the Quran, if it's mentioned in the Bible, or in the Veda, or in the Mahabharat, or in the Ramayana, you can be sure it is according to to the will and the commandment of Almighty God. If it contradicts, then you have to agree this is against the wish and the commandment of Almighty God. In making such astounding claims, Dr. Naik fails or refuses to appreciate the hugely diverse and profound spiritual principles that formulate the Hindu religion. Instead, he forcibly projects Islamic doctrines onto Hindu scripture, producing a fundamentally flawed and perverted interpretation. Were it not for the fact that many Hindus and Muslims are convinced by his arguments, the conclusions Dr. Naik draws would be deemed by many Hindu scholars to be utterly comical. It is worth noting that Hinduism, unlike Christianity and Islam, is not a religion of the book. There are vast amounts of scripture in the religion which have varying degrees of importance depending on which tradition one belongs to. For an in-depth analysis of the erroneous claims Dr. Naik makes about the Hindu religion, please click on the following link below.